Welcome back to Design Huddle. It's a podcast where two internet friends step inside the minds of creative designers in a variety of disciplines and learn how design impacts our everyday lives. Uh, We have an amazing guest today. Uh, We haven't had a guest in a while, so thank you, Jason, for showing up. Um, I'm going to give a very brief intro of Jason, and then I'll let Mustafa and Jason kind of fill in the blanks. But Jason is a design strategist, author, speaker, UX leader, technologist, just like an expert of the web overall, just like great guy from the 10 minutes I met him before joining the call. <laughs> uh, he's, he's worked in a variety of impressive organizations, Adobe, Audible, Condé Nast, GoDaddy, IBM. And he's given presentations, workshops, uh, spoken at conferences all over the world. Um, and he also has a newsletter on web typography. We'll make sure we link that um, in the show notes. Uh, yeah, what did I miss? Mustafa, this is this is your dear the, the friend. La- so the, the last line you missed, and I think you've worried about it. The, I just, you, what I try to do is like a sort of a joke line where I say he's probably best known, and I've written he's probably best known for his love of whales because I saw on Twitter someone called you I think, Moby because you like to do. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome, Jason. Thank you. Actually, you'd probably I don't know if I can get him in frame, but most people actually know me best for that guy. That's Tristan. And his his cousin Tilly is outside, and and really like the only thing you need to know is if you want good pictures of of fluffy dogs, then you can follow me on Instagram. Um, <laughs> Sounds and they also make they they also make really so we have he's a rough collie, and we uh, his cousin is also obviously because they're cousins, but um, uh, they make really good examples for variable fonts. So they have made lots of. Uh, lots of appearances in my talks over the <laughs> over the years. That's really all I'm good for. But um, uh, so one interesting thing, I, at least I think it's interesting. I'm interested in it anyway. Um, that I'm also involved in is uh, the last few years I've been an invited expert in the Web Fonts Working Group at the W3C. Oh, that's great. And, um, and that uh, kind of all fits into some of the things that we were talking about just before we hit record. So I'll say them again, or at least paraphrase <laughs> it a little bit. Um, what has been really interesting. So um, for uh, for anyone who doesn't know know me, the, the thing that I focused on the most over the last 10 years has been web typography. Um, I started studying graphic design in the our sort of early 90s. And my first job on campus when I was in school was making the school's first website. and. So I've been in, like in web stuff for a really long time, and and I love typography. But um, I'm so I will say right now I will just piggyback and reference back to many things that Mandy talked <laughs> about a few weeks ago. She is a good friend, and I absolutely adore her and the work yeah. that she does. And um, I'm constantly blown away by her creativity and 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 knowledge with stuff. Um, and Jello, her dog, who is awesome, um, and that's that's Tristan speaking up about that <laughs> you both um, seem to have figured out how to use instagram i mean i don't know if it's my age but i look at instagram and i don't understand this website <laughs> i'm just posting random things from my art history background it's like that might get a few likes i don't know if i'm doing it right <laughs> oh i look i i believe me i have i will not even pretend to think that i have figured it out but i will say that i um it is a comfort to me like I was like, whatever it does for anybody else, like I, I hope they appreciate it. But um, I started doing that. Um, well, Tristan is just about to turn 13. Um, and I started this and we got him when he was four months old. And I, I probably started posting stuff regularly online, like photos, like a photo every day. Um, maybe a few months prior to that, it was actually kind of inspired by Dan Rubin, um, whom I'd met at some conferences and and he was um it was kind of like people were just starting to do these like 30 day challenges or 365 day challenge of whatever and so he was doing this thing posting photos all the time and and i decided that i needed i needed something like that that little bit of creativity so instagram wasn't even out yet so it was just on twitter at the time and uh, my challenge to myself was to make a little piece of art every day if oh, i cool. could or at least try and and so um i i think that it has added a little bit of sanity to me i was trying to figure out like an interesting image 
uh, of some kind. And I don't know that it's always successful. Um, and it has certainly, um, now since I'm not traveling much, it's really, uh, it's our dog walks in the morning. That's mostly what it, <laughs> what it is. And then occasional cycling photos. But, um, but that's like the heart of it is still there. I'm trying to find an interesting composition, try and think a little bit more visually about stuff. And, um, and that's the only thing I let myself take the phone out of my pocket for in the morning. That's, that's cool. what I try anyway. So, you know, try and be a little bit turned off and, you know, other than looking for that little moment that I can capture or that little story that I can tell.